Welcome back and a happy New Year's Day. President of the Jamaica Football Federation, Michael Ricketts, says he's open to having dialogue with the public on how to improve local football. Many were critical of Ricketts being returned as president in September for the next four years, with the Federation being involved in several high-profile issues, including the reggae girls and their coaches' paying situation. However, Ricketts says he's willing to listen to advice in order for the sport to grow in 2020. I have an open door policy, and I would love for people this year who have an interest in the sport of football to come in, sit down with me, tell me what you think I need to do differently. And I, I just need to sit down with people who understand the sport and have a discussion with them, take some advice, some might make sense, some might not make sense. But I'm prepared to listen to people who have an interest, who have the knowledge, and then we, we, we can see what the new year has to offer. Ricketts also says that they're making a strong effort to improve their leadership and administrative duties, which has been heavily criticized. We must ensure, at, as best as possible, that we do not make the same mistakes that will have hurt us badly, hurt the image, which sometimes is unjustifiable. But we must protect ourselves from these misadventures. And, of course, it is said that justice must not only be done, it must appear to be done. And we want to ensure that we be very transparent, be very balanced, and of course, treat each association, treat each member, and of course, treat each of our refereeing group, coaching staff, with the same level of, of respect as we do to the others. The local governing body has already come under fire following the national under-22 men's 9-0 defeat away to Japan's under-22s recently.